Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of other categories, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice, whenever I announce giveaways, there's always a secret password giveaway going on and of course whenever I go live. As always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today is a day that I've been waiting for for quite some time because my journey box has finally arrived and they have returned to their gorgeous reusable box with this metallic dragonfly and the tie closure. I love these boxes. Mine are always a little bit worse for wear even though they come in a mailer bag but no matter. I just think they are gorgeous. I like to use them to store overflow jewelry that I I like to give to family and friends that I get from different subscription boxes as well as those that I include in giveaways. So let's go ahead and dive in because there is always so much. Now this box is $54.99 per quarter. There is a savings if you are able to do an annual subscription and usually annual members get a little extra gift in each box. There is some customization each quarter. Now this is the Nottingham box which was actually delayed. It was actually supposed to come out before the Mayan Riviera box. This entire subscription has been delayed by about a year. So we're just gonna kind of say they skipped a year basically when all the supply chain shortages issues were happening. So now I feel like they're back on track but they just kind of skipped a year where it was like we got four boxes over the course of two years. So hopefully we will wind up getting four boxes in 2022. This is going to count as their summer box. I love that they have this map of Nottingham right there. It even has some like foil on there as well. That is just such a cool touch and then in Side, we just have some of their tissue paper now in the past like for example one time it was not destination based it was a zero waste more eco-friendly box and so we had got not the reusable box it was a cardboard box last time they had been waiting on these fancy boxes to arrive so we got a cardboard box sometimes they do a QR code but what I really like is when they do their little booklets and we did get a nice little booklet now I believe that this was originally slated to be a fall or winter box which makes a lot more sense for like the feel of Nottingham, I think. But I don't mind getting it in the summer. As I said, I feel like these boxes, even though we've been waiting for them for a long time, the value is always amazing, well over $200, and it is always well worth the wait. But let me go ahead and share with you. She does really do a really nice job in terms of telling us a little bit about the culture and the inspiration for the different items. So it says, I up Midduck, which is hello friend. I guess it says, welcome to Nottingham. On the northeast side of England, the city is known as the Queen of the Midlands and the legendary home of Robin Hood. I had the good fortune to live in Nottingham for a year while serving as a Rotary International Ambassadorial Scholar, and I'm delighted to share some of the highlights with you in this journey box. Since 1949, Rotary International has funded scholarships to develop leaders who advance their mission to provide service to others, promote integrity, and advance world understanding, goodwill, and peace. I served for one year as an ambassadorial scholar in Nottingham hosted by a local couple. So um, I'll read a little bit more. It says, my journey in Nottingham began each day from my rented brick terraced house in the charming village of Beeston. Follow my travels from the lively crossroads of the Old Market Square to royal castles and hunting grounds that are now home to museums, beautiful English gardens and nature preserves. From the historic lace market with its pubs serving comfort food along with warm and witty banter, out to the legendary Sherwood Forest and back again for a proper English afternoon tea like my favorite thing that we have adopted did here in the States. Unbox, play your soundtrack, and join me as I revisit the unending cultural and historical experiences that await in my sister city home. All right, you guys. So I'll have to flip, but you can kind of see she talks about the different items, but then she also talks about things like the Attenborough uh, Nature Reserve and how that inspired it. And she talks about, of course, Sherwood Forest and how that inspired another item in here. So hopefully we get around to all of it. Sounds like there's also a playlist involved, which is kind of a cool and new thing. Now that of course is all written in the voice of Kivia, who is a jewelry designer and the woman behind this box. She has a very small team. They're very sweet. They're kind enough to send this box to me for review. I am so excited, but I would have be a subscriber no matter what. So we do always get some lovely uh, Kivia jewelry. So I believe this was one of the customized items. So let me see if I can find this in here. Hopefully I can. There is a table of contents, of course, but I have to see if I can find it. So yeah, that's gonna be on page 14, quite the little booklet that we have here. 
So we get this crest stag necklace. It says inspired by the majestic stags on Nottingham's coat of arms. So it's just a pretty little bag too. It says our necklace evokes the nobility and gentle grace of the powerful deer. Herds of deer also roam the grounds of Wallaton Hall, now a protected nature park called Deer Park and Gardens. Um, so I believe you got to choose between uh, silver or gold. It says take a walk on the winding trails through the woods and alongside a beautiful lake, viewing the deer in their bucolic natural habitat. Modeled in a vintage wax seal design, this striking pendant is available in matte gold or silver plating. Now, I feel like I would have chosen gold for sure. Let me just double check. So there is a little invoice in here, and it does say that I chose the 18 karat gold finish, but it looks like I received the silver, so I may reach out to them, but it is really pretty and striking in the silver as well. I love that sort of seal um, look to it, where it's got those uneven edges. Kind of a chunky chain, but I feel like that just kind of adds to it. It does have a nice extender chain, so it does look like it is going to be adjustable. This has a value of $60, but yes, I would think I probably would wear it more, this sort of medallion in the gold. So I'm just going to reach out to them because like I said, on my invoice, it does say that I selected the 18 karat gold finish. So, but I love that they give us that customization option. All right. This is very pretty. Let me see if I can open this up because it does have a seal on it. Of course, it is some English breakfast tea. Of course, we had to get some tea when we're featuring a destination in England. So let me just take the plastic wrap off of it. I love that it came in this reusable decorative tin. Very, very pretty. It looks like it was created just for this box as well. So turning to that page, which is page five. So this is our organic English breakfast tea. So there'll be a bag of it in there. It says, on this journey to Nottingham, the morning begins as it often does with a cup of English breakfast tea, stronger than the other black teas. English breakfast tea was served to builders along with their hearty English breakfast and soon became the favorite morning pick-me-up throughout England. Try a taste of real English morning tea with this journey box item made from organic loose leaf black tea leaves straight from the Camellia Sciences sinensis plant. This tea has that tang to put you in the Nottingham mood. Add a dash of sugar, honey, or cream to make it your own personal blend. So love that, of course. So I think it is just a bag of loose leaf tea, so you have to use your own tea strainer. And then, of course, we do talk about English afternoon tea, which I absolutely love, having those little finger sandwiches and scones and then cute little uh, petit four. Uh, so let's see. We did have a gorgeous um, Nottingham pheasant tea time Set. And there was uh, variations with this as well. And you got to choose, I believe, a nice uh, dark blue or an aqua. So this is the two pieces. Now, of course, I like things to come in sets, especially when it comes to drinkware. So I would have loved the option to uh, get a second teacup and saucer. That might actually be a possibility because they do have an online shop. So I'll have to double check. But it would be nice if they maybe gave their subscribers a little uh, discount on getting that full set. So I chose blue versus the aqua. It says, it just talks about, um, the design features a beautiful Fiancis colchius species, one of the many birds that would one would see at the renowned Attenborough Nature Reserve and Center. Um, so set on the outskirts of Nottingham, the Nature Reserve was built in 1966 and named after famed BBC natural historian David Attenborough, who has the best narrating voice ever. So I love that they came in these beautiful, beautiful boxes because I do not have room for my growing teacup collection, but um, I will keep them all in storage. These are very delicate and very pretty and I absolutely love them. So it says, experience England's afternoon tea service with this limited edition teacup. Look how pretty this is with the gold handle and saucer. The design features a beautiful pheasant like one you may encounter on any walk in the picturesque forests and farmlands of Nottingham. The modern style saucer is elongated to provide a sweet spot for your favorite afternoon tea treats or can be used on its own as a trinket or food platter. We include a golden demitasse spoon. Just stir in your favorite sweeteners and milks to enjoy a delicious cuppa customized just for you. To mash or to make a cup of tea. So love the gold accents. There's two rings here on the bottom on the little foot and then that beautiful pheasant on the interior. So let's see what our lovely saucer or tray looks like. I don't see the spoon but maybe that is hidden in here somewhere. Oh the spoon is right here in this lovely box which also matches and has some uh, fowl on it. Some, some birds. So this is just a simple little spoon 
spoon, but it definitely goes with that idea of being out in the woods with these like nice little leaves at the top of it. Very, very lovely. Let me put that off to the side and then we'll take a look at our gorgeous saucer. So the aqua obviously was a little bit of a lighter, brighter blue. Um, I wasn't sure if I would like this design, honestly, but I do think that is lovely. And since I don't have room to have all my teacups up, I out. I do have room though for this nice little dish and then of course you can have your teacup sitting right over here on the other side. I appreciate that they didn't put any ridges on this so that it can actually be used as a dish without having to use it with the teacup but it is so so pretty and now I want a set of four of them. Like of course I want a set of four of them. So this has, let's see if it says the value. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. This is an annual member item so only if you're an annual member and it has a value of $55 dollars that breakfast tea had an msrp of twenty dollars so let's see if we can move on to the next item so this is i'm not sure it says old market square oh i think this is a i think this is a jigsaw puzzle you guys which is kind of cool so let me look and see if i can find this i saw it towards the back i think maybe Maybe it's right in the middle. So it's the Old Market Square puzzle. So it says Old Market Square has hosted festivals, royal visits, civil protests, and all kinds of celebrations since the 11th century. According to folklore, it was in this very square where Robin Hood bested the Sheriff of Nottingham in an archery contest for the coveted Silver Arrow. Some of England's oldest pubs and banks have called Old Market Square home for centuries, and today use the area thrums to the beat of today the area thrums to the beat of concerts, community gatherings, and farmers markets. So it looks like we have this fold out poster of it to show us what the actual puzzle looks like so this is looks a little complicated because look at all of that blue space you guys that sky is going to be very tricky wow all right that's kind of cool i don't know what to do a lot of the times with puzzles and i kind of wish that this had come in a box it says though it says experience for yourself the vibrancy and fun of the old market square with this custom design journey box puzzle so all the puzzle pieces pretty small puzzle pieces actually are in there keep an eye out for the six easter eggs commemorating kivia's year living in nottingham that's kind of cool that's kind of cool we'll have to figure out what those are for sure all right Ooh, this is beautiful. I think this is some sort of stationery. You guys, there are so many gorgeous things. I Because this box was announced so long ago, once I customized and made my selections, I kind of forgot about it, so I haven't been paying much attention to the other spoilers. So these are Flora and Fauna greeting cards. So this has a value of $25, and let's see if we could find a value on that puzzle. The puzzle, it says, has a value of $45. For me, that seems high for a puzzle when it's not even in a box, but like, no matter and I would have liked the box just to have the image of it on there instead of on a fold-out sheet These are stunning though. Even the box is stunning It says nestled among the trees and wide meadows of Wallaton Park is the architectural masterpiece of Wallaton Hall Built in the 1580s the manor house has stood proudly on the outskirts of Nottingham and hosted several generations of royalty in 1926 the manor was converted to the Nottingham Museum of Natural History and today houses the largest and most extensive collection of natural artifacts and specimens in all of England the set of five custom design cards evokes the beauty and detail of Victoria era scientific illustrations. I love those, including the stately deer that roam the museum's expansive lawns. So what's nice is it of course comes with envelopes. It also comes with these gold foil dragonfly stickers to seal those envelopes. Let me just get this out of the way. And then these, you guys, are just so stunning. You could frame these. They would look so cool all together framed, or you just select the ones that are your favorites. Maybe a triptych. Look how pretty they are. And you can see that gold foil that's on them. I love these so much. These are the kinds of um, images, the kinds of greeting cards that I just collect and I never actually want to share and send them to anyone. I'm terrible that way. I have a lot of greeting cards that I've collected through my travels and over the years that I don't share with anyone. Ooh, we got some Kivia Lace and Rose Oil Hydrogel Face Mask. So it looks like we got two of them. They feel pretty like hefty. So this is what this looks like. This has a value of $15. It says, 
am alright, I'm quite well. Exploring Nottingham's downtown streets would eventually bring you to Nottingham's historic lace market. Nottingham was one of the primary sources of delicate lace for both the British Empire and the world. Large red brick Victorian buildings still mark the factories where thousands of yards of lace were designed and spun. Now those same buildings house fashion boutiques, pubs, and creative agencies. In homage to Nottingham's history with fashion and lace, this journey box includes a delicate lace facial mask and infused with rose water, this luxurious mask hydrates and gently brightens your skin. Take some time to relax on your journey. So it's nice because you can share with a friend, but basically the mask itself, you can kind of see it through there. It's like pink with a lace pattern. So maybe a little bit spooky. You might kind of like scare your housemate if they aren't prepared for you to walk out of the bathroom with that face mask on, but very pretty. Um, we also have another item in here that is inspired by Sherwood Forest. These are the Sherwood Coasters, which were a spoiler. I have to say I wasn't really like convinced on the design of them because it's like a weird mix of um, rustic with the wood pieces and resin, so kind of modern, but maybe I'll change my mind. It says, bring a little bit of Sherwood Forest home to your coffee table with our Pinewood Coasters. The Nottingham, so here they are. The Nottingham Journey Box includes three semi-translucent table coasters with cross cuts of real pine wood, one of the many kinds of trees you'll find along the paths in Sherwood Forest. Made with eco resin and sustainable forest certified wood, these one of a kind sets also feature swirls of blue soy ink. So I think maybe it was like the soy ink I wasn't sure about. Just to me, this seems, it almost seems seems like a strangely large like microscope slide. Um, they're kind of sm on the smaller side, which I don't mind, but I don't know. It was just like a strange design to me. I think I would have preferred just like a raw edge um, pine coaster versus the resin, which is kind of cloudy. I also think it's very strange that we received three instead of a set of two or a set of four. Doesn't three seem like a strange number. Um, but it does talk to us a little bit about take the old road out of Nottingham far enough and you'll come across a very, very old forest. This is the legendary Sherwood Forest, famous worldwide as the stomping grounds of the notorious folk hero Robin Hood and his merry men. Today, Sherwood Forest is home to over 1,000 ancient oaks and is designated as a natural reserve, national nature reserve, attracting over 350,000 tourists annually. Visitors from all around the world make a beeline to view Robin Hood's hideout, the legendary Major Oak. This primeval tree is at least 1,000 years old, making it and the surrounding forest some of the oldest stands of trees in England. Wow. So I haven't read everything to you because there's just so much to read, including a whole section about uh, tea, which is such a great tradition, a lovely tradition. But let's just go over all of the items to make sure that I mentioned all of them. This is a lovely box. Some of the choices I feel like are a little bit strange in terms of like one teacup or three coasters, but I always feel like this box is totally worth it and the value is amazing. So we got our organic breakfast tea that did come in this very, very pretty tin. I do like that and I always love a good breakfast tea. Um, we got, of course, to go with that, our tea time set, which had not only this gorgeous cup, I mean, this cup is just like, that's a quintessential teacup. We got the teacup, the beautiful saucer slash tray, and the little spoon. We got our Sherwood coasters, which I, I just personally find the design a little bit, um, it's unique, I will say that. I'm not sure, I think it might be the like ink swirl in there that I'm not really like jiving with. We got our old market square puzzle, which I would have loved to have been in a box, but if you're a puzzle person, that's a really fun one to try out. We got our flora and fauna greeting cards. Those are probably one of my favorite things in the box after the teacup and the saucer. The crest stag necklace, beautiful both in silver and in gold, but I am gonna reach out to them and see if I can maybe exchange it and get the gold one, because I think I will wear it more. And then a little self care from them as well with the lace market facial mask. I think it is so cool that they had a lot of these products made for this box. I, again, it's just so well presented. She really creates a story out of it, really tells us about the inspiration for all of the items. It is so cohesive. I cannot wait until they announce the next one. And again, despite all of the delays, this is a box that I can highly recommend to you. I think it is well worth the wait and is definitely something that I hope to be subscribed to or receive for review long into the future. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have had the opportunity to visit Sherwood Forest or Nottingham or even just England in general, enjoy a beautiful uh, tea afternoon, afternoon tea, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about that. I've always enjoyed the time that I've had to uh, spend in England, although I've never been to Nottingham exactly. 
and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. Use that link if you want to help me out. I may receive a small commission if you do, but no matter what, you guys get in on this box if they still have some of them available.